Hey everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of XCOM Chimera Squad. We have a panic outbreak going on right now in the stacks where unrest has gotten to critical levels. So, we're sending the team out. We have Axiom, Claymore, Blue Blood, and Zephyr. Uh, Blue Blood here is packing a new gun, which is going to give him the lightning hands ability. I'm excited for that. Uh, we still have uh, armor penetrating rounds with Claymore. I'm actually, I think I'm going to swap those because Axiom tends to go more he's got because now he's got that ability to shoot twice on one turn so we might want him to have those instead give him the armor penetrating rounds we'll give the talon rounds here claymore and zephyr doesn't have a breach item because we don't have any more breach items to give out right now so this is the team let's roll out and I'm thinking, I'm hoping that because it's an outbreak, it's not going to be like the same sacred soil, sacred coil people we've been dealing with. And we won't have as many mechs because otherwise Zephyr might not be as useful. But I, I just, I like Zephyr a lot and I want to keep using her. Uh, so hopefully we can, we can get her some experience here. Okay. Enemies are harder to hit. Well, that's just wonderful. One out of one encounters. Um, let's use our breach items. Cease fire bomb. Claymore doesn't have anything. And we'll have Zeph bring up the rear. Behind me. Throwing grenade. Perfect. We actually hit some guys. Okay, so we have a turret. Maybe this is sacred soil. Um... Okay, we don't have great shots on really anybody. He's aggressive. Let's go to take out... Let's take out the turret. As best we can, anyway. We have better shots with blue blood here. There's a berserker over that way. I'm not overly concerned about. Um, let's... Do a Lancer shot on this guy. A better chance to hit him there. Okay, and... Want to do some more... Oh, 56 is not great. Maybe we don't shoot that guy. I was hoping we could take out... Take out somebody completely, but maybe not. Uh, well, we could take out the turret. But it's kind of on death's door. Let's, let's try and weaken a bunch of guys if we can. There we go. And then Zeph. She could rush in and finish that guy off. Or this guy. Let's let's go for the guaranteed. Oh, there's another berserker over there. Heading to location. Okay, we got a lot of civilians around here, so. Axiom is going to start start us off here. We got a Berserker in the back. Uh, we got a good shot on this guy. I think I'm going to not move. We're going to take two shots. And hopefully be able to finish off somebody here. Oh, I should have psyched up first. Who wants the free action might as well. All right, we're going to take out the Guardian. Bruiser's gonna go next. And he's gonna take a shot. It looks like at a civilian. Oh, and blow up a car. And destroy the turret for us. Great. Great. Well done. <laughs> I like your strategy. Alright, and they're gonna run around. Okay, so Blue Blood is up. He's got a couple... Got a really good shot on this guy. Unfortunately... We have our lightning hands ability. Let's do that. Let's do a lightning hands on him. Oh, and a crit. Very good. What's the cooldown on lightning hands? Three turn cooldown. Okay. So every three turns we can have an extra attack. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. We could go for the berserker. Which, just looking at our chances to hit, I think is what we're going to do. Gotcha. Ok, 
Okay, so he's getting pretty pumped up. We need to put him down. And there we go. All right, he's down. Moving. Okay, Claymore is up. We could do a sticky bomb on that trooper that might force him to move. I'd like to start doing some damage to this Berserker here. My concern is that we're going to have to move out of cover to do it. And that trooper is up next. Oh, no, he's not up next. He's, he's far down in the turn order. Let's, let's risk this. We're going to move here. And, oh, we still don't have a shot on the Berserker. Okay. I guess let's sticky grenade the trooper and see where he decides to fall back to. Right by his buddy. It's a good, good use of that ability. All right, so we have we have the one berserker over there, and I'm thinking I'm thinking what we're gonna do. So he's gonna be moving in here. Oh, okay, he's gonna move way in there. I was gonna say, I'll have Zeph go and fight him. Oh man, Zeph is... Zeph took some damage there, didn't she? Okay. New plan, Zeph, you aren't going anywhere yet. Um... Okay, for whatever reason, it's not letting us use her parry. Uh, so we're going to just have Zephyr run way back. Almost dry. She is not looking good. All right, so we got Axiom here. Let's let's go for a three attack with Axiom if we can. So we'll have him do Adrenal Surge, and we'll run in and smash the first Berserker. All right, we put him down. Now we have attacks on that guy. So we'll just take a couple of shots. I think we should be able to get... Okay, we can't... Maybe we can't... We can't quite get three attacks there. But that's okay. Blue Blood is up and Blue Blood and definitely finish the job here. I know there's some way to get three attacks out of uh, out of Axiom if you use. Maybe we have to shoot and then use his Adrenal Surge and something like that. All right, so that guy's still going. Claymore is up. We're gonna move in here and let's use our team up ability. Uh, you know, actually, I think we'll be okay. Let's do preparation. All right. Oh, I guess she couldn't parry because she was disoriented. That makes sense. So Zeph, unfortunately, cannot get as up there. Oh, wait, we can use our relocation disc. Maybe get a little bit of a boost. Oh, she's going to... Well, that was weird. Little. There's a couple of glitches in this game. Just a few. Just a few. There we go. So Zeph, Zeph got pretty beat up. Hopefully she didn't develop a scar from that. But we'll see. We'll see. She'd be one that we'd want to get it removed from right away. Uh, or, well, as soon as possible. We do take her out with us. Not like Cherub, who we only take when we need to. Oh, nice. Okay, we got Mastercrafted Armor. That is very exciting. Oh, and the scavengers market is here. Return to us. A world that wants you to do nothing more than diminish. It will clutch at your potential. Pull you down. Choke you with lies until you can't see the truth. But we, we can be your guide from these depths. Your passage from the tyranny of human rule. All we ask is that you climb. Do not adjust. Do not change. 
For now, you walk the bonded stair. Okay, so they have a unique um, SMG here, uh, which we already have one of, so we're not going to do that. We're going to take the plasma grenade. And we don't have quite enough credits to get our upgraded armor yet. Uh, probably after another mission we should have. We just need about 80 credits and then we can get master crafted armor. So I'm looking here. Uh, oh, okay. We can have two people at spec ops. That might be worth it. Although then we'd be short. We have to decide. Do we want two people over here or two people at spec ops? Uh, I guess, though, if we have no one training, it might be worth it. Because if there's no one on training, we can maximize our things that way. Although we almost always have somebody training. So maybe we'll keep that one in the chamber. And breach explosives. We have a lot of these things. Uh, let's do mastercrafted shotguns. Because that would upgrade um, Claymore, Godmother, and Axioms weapons so we have a lot of people with shotguns i think that's a good choice so let's let's do that all right what do we got here oh we have a, a storied mission okay 31 pd surveillance paid off sacred coil has set up inside an old advent factory uh, i think that's where they're planning their android heist if we move fast we can catch them in the act get two days towards our next reveal we get 65 credits not quite enough that's okay 30 intel that is all right we're not going to get any more credits from any other missions so that's okay we are going to do this and i think we have we'll just probably go with the same loadout that we did last time so next time we are foiling a heist in Highland Square.